Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to simplify fractions. Now say for example if we had to simplify 2 over 4, how do we simplify that? First step is we need to find the highest common factor of numbers 2 and 4, right? 2 is the top number of the fraction and 4 is the bottom number. Okay, now the highest common factor, in order to find the highest common factor we need to find factors of 2 and factors of 4. So what are factors of 2? Factors of 2 are numbers that multiply to give us 2. Very simple, we have 1 and 2, right? Those are the only two numbers that multiply to give us 2. And remember, we are only dealing with whole numbers, right? No decimals. Okay, what are the numbers that multiply to give us 4? Definitely, we have 1 and 4. What's the other number? Well, I know it's 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so those are the factors of 2 and 4. Now what's the highest common factor? Well there's two common factors, right? Okay, I can see we have 1 here and 1 there. Okay, so that's common and we have 2 and 2. So those two numbers are common to both the number 2 and 4 as factors, but what's the highest common factor? What's the highest number? Well the highest is 2, right? Okay, so what we have to do now is once we find the highest common factor, we need to divide the top number and the bottom number of our original fraction by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 and 4 divided by 2. Okay, that will give the answer to a simplified fraction. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, when simplified, 2 over 4 or 2 quarters is 1 over 2 or half. Okay, so that's the answer. Let's try another example, okay? Now, let's say if we had to simplify 3 over 15, okay? Again, we'll follow the same procedure. So, we need to find the highest common factor of 3 and 15. But first, we'll find the factors of 3. Very simple, it's just 1 and 3, right? Because 1 times 3 is 3. For 15, we have 1 and 15, definitely, because 1 times 15 is 15. What are the other factors of 15? Well, we have 3, because 3 times 5 gives us 15. And there's no other factors of 15, right? So, what are the common factors we can see here? Well, the common factors are 1, 1, 3, 3. But what's the highest common factor? Well, it's definitely 3, right? Okay, so what's the next step? Well, we need to divide 3 by 3 and 15 by 3. Okay, that's what we need to do. So, our simplified fraction becomes 1. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, 3 over 15, when simplified, becomes 1 over 5. And that's our, that's our answer. Now, sometimes, okay, sometimes we cannot simplify fractions because they are in their simplified form. For example, if we were asked to simplify 2 fifths, now, this fraction cannot be simplified, and I'll tell you why, right? Let's follow the same procedure. So, let's find the highest common factor, okay? So, the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. So, what's the common factors? Common factor 1, 1. What's the highest common factor? Definitely 1, okay? So, following the same procedure, if we divide 2 by 1, because the highest common factor is 1, right? And 5 divided by 1, well, we got the same answer, right? 2 over 5. So this fraction here cannot be further simplified. It's in its simplest form. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video does help you.